Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be having a look at what Zer is actually selling. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like down below, and let's see if Zer has anything worth getting. Massive shout out to Blazing Booth for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are struggling to get anything Destiny 2 related, they offer a very good Sherpa service. So if you're struggling to do trials, raids, anything like the end game, this is the place to be. Not only that, they do have a trust pilot review of over 30,000 with 5 star reviews. And if you guys do use my code unstoppable at checkout, you will get a 5% discount. So let's take a look. So for the exotics, we do have uh, Suros Regime now not the best gun at the minute however it could be meta in the future so I would recommend getting it if you haven't got one now Orpheus Riggs to be honest this is a really really good role in my opinion now some may disagree but for me high resilience high intellect probably the best sort of stats you can get and to be honest I'm actually going to pick them up for my answer it's definitely one you should be getting then we do have ACDC Feedback Friends. Um, not bad. The recovery is okay, intellect. But I probably wouldn't recommend getting them. And we do have Phoenix Protocol. Just an average roll, really. So for exotics, the only one I would really recommend is Orpheus Riggs. Now for the legendary weapons, we do have this auto rifle. Now dynamic sway reduction. Harmony, not the best. And to be honest it's not that good of a role this here whispering slab now this could be sort of a decent pve role i'm not gonna lie accuracy and some of the things aren't the best but range find of opal weapon depending on how you're going to use this bow it can actually be quite handy to have and to be honest it's not the worst role you can get so you could pick that up if you guys wanted now, Pulse Rifles, honestly, this is more of a PvE weapon. Dragonfly is pretty good. Range is good. Ricochet increases, obviously, stability and range. To be honest, it's not a bad roll Pulse Rifle, but it's not a great Pulse Rifle, but we never know how the future is going to toll in Destiny 2, so it might be worth picking up, especially for the future. Now, we do have a Fusion Rifle. Not the best roll. To be honest under pressure fresh i wouldn't recommend picking this up and then we do have the akelos now we do actually i've just realized as well this is the brand new set so zer is now actually selling the brand new akelos weapons with the new mods that sort of thing as you can see it's now version 1.03 rather than 02 if you like myself and you don't really play pve that much anymore you haven't got them this is definitely one to pick up and to be honest i would recommend picking it up if you guys have not got it even though the rolls just average it's definitely worth just a pick up you can actually farm them over at the helm that's really handy tip to have especially if you are a pvp player you can now farm ikelos weapons without grafting pv for them that's pretty much a cool introduction from zer then we do have the tarantula freedom frenzy wellspring and the keening with killing wind snapshot not the best armor wise we've got a high resilient gauntlets with 22 pretty decent roll to be honest then we do have a chest piece which is really good for the hunter 27 resilience so i'd recommend picking that up and we do have just average ones the boots are pretty good so i would recommend getting them also with high resilience now for the exotic weapons we've got the hawkman with opening shot which is probably one of the best perks you can get alloy magazine chambered compensator to be honest there are a few better rolls out there but if you haven't got a good one this is definitely up there with the best roll so pick that up and then the dmt this week we had a god roll last week and this week it is horrendous so persistence avoid this do not waste your time buying this weapon as always that is uh, wrapped up this week like i said them introducing these new weapons are pretty good and to be honest it's a good way for me to get them and i know a lot of you are pvp players like myself so i am glad they've done that but that's going to wrap it up hopefully you guys did enjoy remember to leave a like subscribe as always i will catch you in the next one